everybody and welcome to my creativity time video. In this video today we will be taking a look at a upcoming brand new stamp set. It's coming in the July to December mini catalogue which comes starts on the 3rd of August, thank you COVID, and it's called Sweets and Treats and when I saw this stamp set I just fell in love. Um, my name is Tatiana, I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator here in Australia and I am super excited to have you here joining me in this video. I will mention it a few times throughout the video, but for the next week, so we'll do it until next Wednesday. What time do I go? <laughs> 1 p.m. Um, nominate someone. So Sydney is in lockdown. I think Melbourne and <coughs> excuse me. Lots of Australia is in lockdown and it is not fun. And last year when that was happening, I had this nomination thing and I thought it'd be nice to bring it back for a bit. So the deal is that you nominate someone that you would like to receive the card that I'm making today. You don't have to say their name or where they live as long as they're in Australia, um, but just give a reason um, they're having a hard time or you just want to brighten their day, whatever it is. Uh, one person's nomination will be um, receiving the card. So let's get started. Um, let's flip and take a look at the stamp set. So here we go. This is the Sweet Treats stamp set. Now I've got to say I'm flying blind right now. I know that I'm live because the little red thing is there, but my other device isn't working. So I don't know, I can't see your comments. And once the device has started to charge, I will um, get going. But um, I've been umming and ahhing <laughs> which way to go. And I'm going to do the Christmas pudding, even though we're going to send it to someone in COVID and, or not necessarily in lockdown. But, you know, we could say bring on Christmas. Let's do that. Bring on Christmas and hopefully this crap will be settled by then. So I'm going to do the Christmas pudding. To be honest, when I look at the Christmas pudding, I think of my mother-in-law who just loves making her pudding and actually she hasn't made it. My brother-in-law has been making it. But anyway, they're really good at puddings and it's always, it's been my husband's family tradition to have a pudding. So I thought that would be fun. Now this stamp set is a standalone, but what's really cool is that it does coordinate with the, now I can't pronounce that, Sorry, that is beyond my abilities, but it coordinates with that. So I, this has a coordinating stamp set, which I didn't purchase, but I purchased the dies because you can die cut out the dome. And then we have the shaker domes, which have that word again. So if anyone can give me some tips on how to pronounce that, much appreciated. Anyway, so we can create a little bit of a shake a card out of this and that'll be some fun you know christmas fun so see you go put it in and bing bang boom um it's been a while since i've done these so bear with me because i've got to remember and then i've got here in the ease embossing folder don't know if we're going to use it i'm hoping to use it but these folders are it's a little duo it's um a two set which they called wintry 3d and you get both of these and i really love the snowflakes but i thought the pine branches would be fun on this card we'll see if we get to use them but definitely using the stamp set and we're definitely um using the pom pudding oh, come on charge i don't like not knowing or actually not seeing hopefully this is going okay you never know Maybe there's some big screw up and I'm live in the wrong place and, you know, I don't know. That's okay. I'm going to mount the pudding and stamp it using, what am I using? Memento. Memento and on two. Let's see. There we go. Got a piece of, well, this is whisper white, but now it's basic white. So I'm gonna stamp my pudding because we're gonna fussy cut it and stick it in. Just, you know, for kicks. Hope everyone. 
everyone is doing well. For anyone in lockdown, I my heart breaks for you all. I know that in New South Wales, the lockdown has been um, prolonged for another four weeks as of this Friday. So that's quite a oh, that's quite a significant period of time, and it's already been. How's it been already five weeks? I don't know. I mean, I know, but it's crazy. Anyhow, I'm going to color this in with Stampin' Blends and I've got shaded spruce for my holly leaves. I always like to start with the darker. Can I zoom in? Oh, I can. Look at that. Beautiful. I'll zoom in for the colouring. There we go. Shaded spruce. It's like my favourite holly leaf colour. <laughs> Isn't that funny? That's it. Shaded spruce. And then if I grab the right thing, it should be Poppy Parade. Yep. For the berries. Now this pudding, my mother-in-law doesn't ice her pudding, so this pudding has icing. See, this is very not a Russian tradition, so I'm, I am learning still. But what color is normally the icing? I'm guessing white. Um, I also can't see comments, so I don't know why I'm asking questions. <laughs> it's really useless. Come on. Anyway, let's continue. In the meantime, I am coloring the pudding bit in cinnamon, cinnamon cider, I was right. Um, may I say that I am loving this color right now. Also in the upcoming holiday catalog is a gingerbread sweet. And this cinnamon color it's just so gorgeous with it. I almost did that for the live today, but you're going to get a plethora of that over the next few months. Who's feeling the Christmas in July thing this year? I don't know, is it as big? I have been looking at Christmas trees. Um, don't like the one we have. And now that we have our own place, I thought it would be time to get the forever Christmas tree. Does that exist? <laughs> Aha! It's booting. My other device is booting. It's so old. It's nine years old. I mean, that's not really that old, really, in the grand scheme of things. But in terms of technology and battery life and the fact that it's been dropped a few times. Oh, doesn't that look cute? So I'm going to say the icing is, the icing is white. And I'm going to just give it some subtle shading. So I've grabbed the color lifter and light smoky slate. And what I'm going to do is use the brush tip of the color lifter and where those highlight markings are, just add some color lifter. I know that sounds strange, but now I'm gonna go over the brush marking for the markings there in the light smoky slate. And by adding the color lifter first, it allows me to blend, it will allow me, should I say, when you say this, to blend that gray in so that's not so stark. So now I've got, now I like to take the bullet tip end and blend in those edges. If I didn't add the color lifter, you could have definitely blended the edges in, but it won't blend as subtly. Now remember with stamp and blend, sometimes you look at it and go, oh, that doesn't look so good. Give it a moment for the alcohol to evaporate. Now I've done a little bit of a, I'm gonna use the color lifter for as it was envisaged, lifting the colors out of the bit that I went in. So there we go. As you can see, that gray is starting to subtle the edges and, and that will mean that we can, it just, it gives it, 
bit of shading. It makes it look like it's used to the other thing. Okay, just bringing up comments on the other device. There we go, there's Facebook. Hopefully, fingers crossed I'm live. Look, fingers crossed I'm live in the right place. And then we can keep going. Another two medals, yay! Who's been watching the Olympics? Gotta say, I have not. I mean, I, I love the idea of watching the Olympics, but just also don't like the idea of just sitting there watching the Olympics. <laughs> I'm full of contradictions today. Come on. Okay, Tanya, I can see that you are watching. Yay, welcome. Oh, excellent. Hey, Kathy. Hello, Tanya. Fabulous. Okay, I can see comments now. And <coughs> excuse me, I've got a tickle in my throat today. From all the talking. Okay, now let's zoom out a little bit. How do I zoom out? Nope. Oh, press something that I didn't want to press. Yeah, yeah, it's in English. There we go. So I'm not fully zoomed out. So I'm just going to fussy cut this out. And I am, if you're watching live and you did miss the beginning, you may not know this bit, but I am calling or asking you to nominate someone to receive this card so that we can brighten their day, whether they're in lockdown or not, COVID is affecting all of us. Uh, you know, there's shipping delays. So the July to December mini catalog has had to be delayed and start in August because of supply delays, which was, I mean, it's better to start late and then not have to worry about, oh, this is not available, this is not available, this is not available. But man, it's just a bit of a bummer, isn't it? So nominate and I will leave the nominations open till next Wednesday's live. But the catch is that they, the nominee has to be in Australia because postage is crazy. And you don't have to say who they are, but you just need to say why you'd like to nominate them to receive this card. So that I have a way of, so won't that look so cute? Yeah, little thing. Okay, so. What color background are we thinking? I'm, uh, let's go with white. White on white, is that too white? Or should we go some light? Let's do pool party actually, that'll sit nicely. Pool party. My son looked through the colors the other day and went pool party. So yes, there is a pool party. Okay, so we need, that's the card base, which conveniently has already been pre-cut. And this is the card front, which we will trim down to size. That's already correct. Just trim it down a little bit. And beautiful. Very, very good. And we probably want it. I'm going to do the die cutting first so that it will sit where we want it to. Where's the die? There. I want that to be about there. Now, I'm balling it that it's so, so that it's vaguely straight. And now these is a, I'll show you what they are. They're like post-it notes, but little strips. I was wondering in, bun, uh, not Bunnings, Office Works and found them. That is cute. Will that fit through the mini? I'm hoping it will. Not too 
the cupboard is too wide. Big Bailey. And I'll zoom out completely now. The audience is really quiet today. So I'm die cutting that first. die cut and now I am going to emboss it. I think that'll be fun to have this embossed. So I'm going to emboss one side only. And take the embossing folder and I'm going to emboss almost the whole panel. Three quarters or two thirds. So that's more than more like two thirds. Now I said that these were the 3D embossing folders. So if we take a look on our base platform, we can see that the 3D folders require the base platform, the embossing folder, and the plate number four, which is the gray one. So in we go, made my sandwich. I love having the sandwich guides there. For something that you don't frequently use, it's great having those details at hand. Oh, I'm glad I did that. That is so cute. So it's subtle, but it's there and it's beautiful. Can I ever keep my desk tidy? Okay, so that is going to go as so. And what I'm going to do is place that where it's supposed to be. And then use the little post-itty notey thingy-ma-bobbies to hold it in place to line up the stamp on the inside. So I would like this bit stamped on the inside. I want it to line up with that. So this way, by cutting out first, I know that it's gonna line up with the cutout, as opposed to doing the opposite, where you stamp that and then it might not line up. I'm just gonna stamp, actually, pool party. Let's stamp that in pool party. So it'll be subtle, but it'll be there. This is photopolymer, it's easy to see through. Stamp. Well, I did not, I was saying because it's photopolymer, it's easy to see through, but I wasn't, I didn't want to get the top of my head in the video, so I didn't lean forward and I'm not playing ball. Okay. Take two, try two. Must think I'm a goose. Oh, hey, Anya. Yes, Christmas in July, exactly. Oh, getting ink on my fingers. I should really close ink pads in between, but. Let's take two, this time you're gonna see the top of my head, possibly. So remember, nominate someone and your nominee may receive this card in the mail saying that you are thinking of them in these challenging times. Just a little bit of a COVID outreach, I guess you could say. I'm gonna make sure I line this up. The other way to do this is through the Stamparatus, which would be the smarter way to do it probably. But I, my desk is messy, okay. Sorry, you're gonna see the top of my head, but this way I'm gonna line it up better. There we go. I don't know, did you see the top of my head? See there, that's much better lining up. Woohoo. And I'm 
Now we can stick down our pudding. Our Christmas pudding will go there. And this will go over the top. Now we should probably put something in there to make it, you know, shake since it's, it is a shaker card. And the other thing is I found it is easier if you stick it to the top bit and then t stick the top bit to the bottom. But I'm not going to do that just yet. Let's stick our pudding down. Lunchtime for Anya, that's lovely. And what class do you have next? Anya is one of the poor people in Sydney, all locked down and she's teaching. I've had so much trouble with this glue. I'm just gonna grab a new glue and I'm done with it. I don't know what that one, what's its problem? I think I also bought that one from Linkra, uh, Spotlight because I was away and forgot to pack my green glue. Man, it was much more expensive there too. I did not like that. But it was good to have some liquid glue because if you watch me regularly, you know that that is my glue of preference. There. Very good. <clears throat> now, back to the stamp set. There's this you upside down the stand I want to stamp that and but a polymer is very sticky stamp that so that we can put that and you get the whole view of it's like a cake stand yes shaker card stamp this in memento and do the same as we did with the icing on the pudding now those bits inside the pudding are they normally colored i don't know pudding's just not my specialty i feel like i should color them in green and red would anyone oppose to that would that be offensive or wrong let me know and i'm going to do the same trick i did with the shading Start with the color lifter to kind of saturate the paper a bit with the alcohol, essentially. That's essentially what it is. And then grab my light smoky slate. It just gives that, and I love that the stamp has the areas where I need to do this. That makes it super easy. And just blend those edges in. Hey Joan, how's it going? And this is going to be fussy cut. out and I'm just trying to think what to use for the shaker bits because I don't have I've got retired stuff but I don't want to go here yeah, use this and it's not you can't buy it it's always fun to see things that you can get your hands on Now the domes have two bits of stickiness, one on that side, Just do that closer to the camera, and then one on the top side. So let's peel off the top side one, place it flat on your table, take your cutout and place it over the top and stick down. So that's super easy. And then you hit here. <coughs> Excuse me. And then you can adhere that down there. 
concern. And with that being there, a very cute, my little pudding. So let's add the stand. Oh, now this glue's too. Squid it out too much. Can't get that good balance, okay? And I'm trying to press that against the dome there so that it really sits underneath. Now, let's check my drawer. Can I use the shaker? You. Nope, nope, nope. shaker elements I feel like using basic no give it a whirl yes so this is the give it a whirl die now remember you can do anything you want if you're going to recreate this but I thought stars would be fun so let's create some shaker stars just need to run that through maybe twice and we'll have a lovely pile of stars. I'm thinking some yellow. Let's see. Daffodil Delight. Can this strip be big enough? Yay! So when you don't have your, um, if you don't have anything to add as shaker elements, you can create your own using dyes. So take a look at your dyes. Oh, it's stuck down to the wrong bit. Take a look at what dyes or punches you may have and see what you can use to create some shaker elements. You can use stuff that you already have and you don't have to buy more things. I'm going to bring in the mini for this because it's a lot easier. Oh, come on. Needs a little guiding in. And my grid paper is rolling around, which doesn't help. So nobody answered the question about the pudding and those bits. So I'm going to color them in a second. But let's look at those stars. And I love that these stars are stitched. It doesn't matter if they flip over in the shaking process. So do you know what? These stars are... I mean, not that they're huge, but because there was two dies, which was very thoughtful, you can get a lot more stars out at once. I don't think we need extra. One, two, three, four, five. And let's put the sixth one in. Sorry, that was a bit off camera. And before we do that, I'm going to go in and Color these bits. I'm just using the light of the Poppy Parade and now I'm using the light of the shaded spruce. My mum makes a fruit cake and the fruit mix that she buys has these little red and green jellies. So a bit of my mother and my mother-in-law in this card. <laughs> now this is the bit where you need to make sure your shaker elements, or in this case, stars, are in the middle so that you're not attaching them to any edges. And you peel off that. I'm going to add the liquid glue to the edges. It does not seem straight, does it? Go. 
flip over and sorry if you see my head again. That is not straight. How did I decide that that was straight? That must have moved in the die cutting machine. That's annoying. <gasps> I can't do this. Well, gonna have to. You don't wanna watch me recreate this card, do you? Oh, I'm so annoyed. That is not straight. But the shaker bit's there and it's fun. And it's stuck into the edges. Oh my goodness, this is a video of what not to do. Check that it's straight and then stick down your edges before shaking your elements. I should just go to bed. Hi, Margaret. <laughs> I, I think I need to go to bed. I will recreate this card and make it a shake card proper for whoever receives this as the nomination so that they're not getting... But the concept's there, you get the concept. Oh man, just breathe. Arg. Okay, we just need the sentiment, which I do know what I'm doing. We said we'll use bring on Christmas and hopefully things will settle, this COVID stuff will settle by then. Bring, oh no, that says happy birthday. Let's place that. In its spot, let's bring on Christmas. Bring on Christmas, there we go. I'm not used to this new photopolymer. And I was going to do that on a strip and create like a little banner. Look at that, I have a strip, perfect. Bring on Christmas. Bring it on. So, did anyone celebrate Christmas in July on Sunday? It's my niece's birthday. We didn't get to celebrate, but we did sing, sing happy birthday. First birthday. First birthday in first lockdown. Or she, no, she wasn't. Well, no, technically she was born in lockdown. Oh, I don't remember now. Bring on Christmas. And we will do a little, let's do it with scissors. So I'm just trimming that. Trimming vaguely in the middle, snip, and then cutting to the middle. Snip, snip. To get the little banner look. And I, yeah, it'll go at the top and what we're going to do is take the burn folder, Ooh. run it so that it curves that way and now I'm going to curve it the other way so it's like a little swoosh and then we're going to stick that down there and the way we're going to keep the swoosh is in the middle where it's high we're going to add a dimensional you could add two if you want some extra height. This is high too, so let's add two. So I'm peeling the backing off that dimensional and then adding another dimensional on top. And then using the glue on the other two sides. You are in lockdown as well, yes. Majority of Australia is in lockdown, aren't they? It's like, I can't remember what they said, but a big portion of Australia is in lockdown. So there we go. Two more things, envelope and inside as always. And just gotta grab those things. these both simple by stamping the Christmas pudding in memento. Man, my desk gets messy so quickly. Are you a messy crafter? Thank you, Aila. I am, to be honest, I'm really disappointed with that card. It's not straight. It's not shaky, uh, shaking like a shaker card. 
<sighs> but I will recreate. I will recreate and that. And the logic of where I placed those to me makes absolute sense is for the inside, we write right to left. And when our sentence finishes, it finishes more here. So then you've got space, you know, from Danielle. So that's my logic for the inside of the card. Stuck down. Yes, I am a perfectionist. How did you guess? <laughs> And then for the envelope, because Australia Post says that this area is for the address. This is for the stamp. This needs to be blank. I think it goes up that side as well for the processing. So this is the only space where you can put something decorative. Of course, the back of the envelope is free to go as much as you'd like. So there we go. That is Sweets and Treats stamp set. It will be available to customers from the 3rd of August, so just next week. I think that's Tuesday from the top of my head. Um, thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you had a little bit of a distraction because good chances are you're in lockdown and distraction during lockdown is always good. Um, enjoy your weekend, the rest of your weeks, and I hope that you can join me next week, Wednesday, 1 p.m right here on my Facebook page.